Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Now here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, the subcompact SUV from Ford, the EcoSport 1.0-liter EcoBoost titanium automatic transmission, and a compact SUV from Nissan, the X-Trail 4x4 gas CVT. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2018 Mercedes-Benz X-Class Storm Edition and the 2019 Bentley Continental GT plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Subaru XV and the Mazda CX-5. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held 10th anniversary celebration of Lexus Philippines as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Ford. SUVs have become the go-to car for Filipinos, especially for families who love going on adventures. For Ford Philippines, the EcoSport is that nameplate that has become a staple when talking about SUVs, in spite of it being the brand's smallest SUV. This 2018, Ford finally unveiled the newest EcoSport. In this week's car review, we have the EcoSport EcoBoost Titanium. Watch this. First things first, the engine. The 2018 Ford EcoSport is powered by a 1.0-liter turbocharged inline-three EcoBoost unit which produces 123 horsepower and 170 newton-meters of torque. These figures are mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. 
This whole engine layout is what makes this variant of EcoSport the top spec engine in the 2018 EcoSport. It is also not a question that it is dubbed as the EcoSport Titanium. The suspension uses McPherson with coil spring at the front while it uses torsion beam with stabilizer at the rear. This setup is pretty basic, but it does the job in getting the Echo Sport through road imperfections. Now let's check out the exterior and interior of the 2018 Echo Sport. The exterior of the Echo Sport straight up screams Ford. It doesn't veer away from the traditional look of the model. It adopts the same front fascia, grille, and even fog lights and the headlights. The same goes with the rear. The only recognizable changes in the exterior of the newest Echo Sport are the unique A-pillars which create curves at the bottom. They are obviously positioned to highlight the striking edges of the car's hood, giving it a sporty vibe. Inside, mostly everything is black. The seats and the steering wheel are wrapped in black leather, giving away that elegant feel to it. The Echo Sport comes with a spacious cabin as well, ensuring a comfortable trip for both the driver and passengers. Since this variant is top of the line, the infotainment system comes with an 8-inch SYNC 3 touchscreen integrated with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meanwhile, audio is enjoyable through seven speakers. For safety and security, the 2018 Echo Sport comes with Ford standard features such as anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, ISOFIX, and six airbags. That was the 2018 Ford EcoSport, Ford's latest offering for their SUV segment, and a vehicle that many have waited for and been disappointed. Our first featured model on Car Review this week. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. above your limits designed to get back from any adventure every day without fail being tough is not enough so we keep testing in the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability the new strata engineered beyond tough Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains.
fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Ilustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Ilustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Suzuki Philippines has officially unveiled the all-new Suzuki Ortiga in an event held at the Marriott Grand Ballroom in Pasay City. Suzuki Philippines presented the all-new Suzuki Ortiga with a fiercer look and boasting maximum functionality, allowing Filipino families to go on adventures and seize the day in style. We have a lot of features compared to others, uh, starting from a uh, uh, stylish design, and we made it longer and wider compared with the previous generation model, and it makes more comfortable. And also we install new type of engine, and uh, more powerful but more fuel efficient. And also, the price of the car is very much competitive among the other competitors. According to Suzuki Philippines, the interior of the all-new Ortiga is designed with sophistication and flexibility in mind. The new steering wheel has a flat bottom for a better leg clearance, while the gauges are painted with metallic chrome for a sleeker look. The seats have a deep curb with the fabric showing a 3D effect. The all-new Ortiga also has a new powertrain. Suzuki Philippines reported that there has been a significant increase in their sales during the past year despite the challenges. Suzuki said the success is attributed to the Ortiga, the Celerio, and the Vitara. Suzuki Philippines uh, remains competitive this year. 2018 was a really successful year for Suzuki Philippines despite of the challenges that the industry faced. Uh, the company was able to register a positive growth. As you know, the automobile industry last year shrunk by 15%, uh, but Suzuki Philippines was able to register a respectable growth of 2.5%. Uh, the top three selling models of the company are the Ortiga, the Celerio, and uh, Vitara, which account a total of 56% of our total sales. Motor Image Pilipinas has officially launched the fifth-generation all-new Subaru Forester. As presented during the launching event, the all-new Subaru Forester comes with technological advances, a range of upgraded features for optimal handling, and enhanced safety features. According to Subaru, this is the first Forester which incorporates all of the brand's four proprietary technologies, which means a safer, more comfortable, and enjoyable driving experience for drivers and passengers. The Forester is built on the new Subaru Global Platform and features EyeSight Driver Assist technology. The EyeSight technology has helped drivers with a safer drive in both traffic jams along EDSA and also for long-distance highway driving. Please come on down to any of your nearest Subaru showroom and test drive the all-new Subaru Forester for yourself. It might impress you and it might want you to get one for yourself. So yes, please give it a try, the all-new Subaru Forester. JM Far East has officially launched the newest addition to its lineup of tires targeted to cater to SUVs and 4x4s. This is the uh, Walpik series, Walpik 83W, a new generation all-terrain uh, tire, as well as the Walpik MT-01, the mud terrain, for severe application. Now for on-road application, today we are also launching FK510 SUV for high-performance uh, German uh, SUVs. Yeah. 
According to JM4 East, all three of these new Falcon tires are equipped with a new generation technology that allows the tires to not produce road noise and vibration, which is common with all-terrain and mud-terrain tires. With this new generation technology, the reviews that it has received is truly amazing because all are so amazed with how comfortable and quiet uh, these tires are performing. Toyota Motor Philippines held its Thanksgiving party in celebration of its 20th anniversary held at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in BGC. With the theme, Rockstar, the event was attended by media guests and the company's top executives. Toyota announced that they remain the top automotive brand, having a 38.2% of market share, while also achieving other milestones despite the challenges the industry has faced with the implementation of the train law. 2018 was really a challenging year for the whole industry. The train law implementation, which was announced in 2017, created a rush in purchase of vehicles in 2017. We actually expected that the market will slow down in 2018, but with the confluence of events, economic factors, it was quite significant. Although there was a 17% reduction in market size, uh, we're very happy that uh, Toyota was still able to stand ground and uh, we achieved Triple Crown. We're still number one in passenger cars, number one in commercial vehicles, number one in overall vehicle sales. And we bested 9 out of 11 segments. The company looks forward to coming out with new products to offer to their Filipino customers this 2019. I think every car company is planning to launch something new this year, whether it's a new model change or a minor change. But for sure, Toyota will have some uh, surprises for this year. And also, we are going to have a new motorsports program as announced by our president. It's going to be called the Vios Racing Festival with two elements, the Autocross Challenge and the yes, Circuit Championship. At the end of the celebration, Toyota had given away 1.6 million pesos worth of prizes. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven-seater in style. All-new El Tiga. Debut. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Now here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. In this week's Head to Head, it's a battle between two cars that have been in the market for so many years yet they don't fall short with innovations. 
One is an upgrade of its model, while the other one bears its manufacturer's latest design technology. We're talking about none other than the Subaru XV and the Mazda CX-5. Watch this. We have here the Subaru XV and the CX-5 AWD Active. Our first stop, the two cars' as powertrains. The Subaru XV is powered by a 2.0-liter gasoline engine that produces 156 horsepower and 196 newton meters of torque. This engine is coupled with a continuously variable transmission that actively sends power to all four wheels. Meanwhile, the CX-5 runs on a 2.5-liter Skyactiv gas that gives out 175 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Comparing the two engine figures, the CX-5 obviously produces more than the XV, but both of them do the job, while the CX-5 comes with Mazda's Skyactiv drive automatic transmission. Since this is one of Mazda's newest models, it comes equipped with G-Vectoring Control, a system that enhances chassis behavior, which is also part of the Skyactiv dynamics. Well, that's one CX-5 Edge so far. For the suspension, the XV's is made of a McPherson strut at the front and a double wishbone at the rear. Meanwhile, the CX-5 uses McPherson struts at the front while it uses multi-link beam at the rear. After the oily bits, let's go to the more exciting parts. The looks of the XV is defined by its simple yet detailed exteriors. Its exterior is highlighted by the LED headlamps with auto levelizer, LED daytime running lights, pop-up headlamp washers, and 17-inch alloy wheels. The combination of these features makes the XV a sight to see on the road. On the other hand, here's a CX-5 bearing the enhanced Kodo Soul of Motion design, giving the model a sportier and more dynamic look. Compared to its predecessor, it now has a more distinguished grille and matching fog light frames, plus new front and rear full LED headlights and redesigned alloy wheels. Now that we've seen what the two cars' interiors have to offer, it's time to hop inside and check the interiors. Inside the XV, there's nothing but elegance as the seats are wrapped in orange stitch leather. For its infotainment system, the XV comes with a 6.5-inch touchscreen audio that goes with six speakers that are available in aux, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity to give you entertainment whether you're taking on a quick or long road trip. Climbing inside the CX-5, one will notice the standard leather seats immediately. The electronic dual-zone air conditioners are also one of the traits in this model. Moreover, the CX-5 is equipped with reclining rear seats. But the highlight of the CX-5's interior is the Mazda's new infotainment system, the MZD Connect. It works with a smartphone for hands-free and voice-activated connectivity system to apps, maps, social media, entertainment, SMS, and email. The touchscreen is positioned within the driver's line of sight, with its multifunction control buttons located on the floor console and can be operated by feel so the driver's attention won't be diverted from the road. Now, on the topic of safety and security. Both the XV and the CX-5 have the important features such as six airbags and anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, to name a few. Two cars that have stood the test of time, yet have remained innovative and stylish. Those are the Subaru XV and the Mazda CX-5. AWD Active, our featured vehicles here on Head to Head this week. More about the automobile here in Autofocus, as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing of this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Mercedes-Benz X-Class Storm Edition. Let's watch this.
Mercedes-Benz Vans is releasing a limited number of Storm Edition X250D 4MATIC models as a Black Friday offer, featuring enhanced specification, branded graphics, and an exclusive off-road customer driving experience. In addition to the already highly specified power model trim, which includes black leather upholstery, command online infotainment, roof rails, LED headlights, parking with 360-degree camera, and 19-inch bicolor alloys, the new Storm Edition X250D formatic models will benefit from a tonneau cover, load bed liner, and black styling bar, as well as sidebars, front and rear mud flaps, and velour floor mats. Available for sale from Black Friday, the Storm Edition X-Class models will be available from £449 per month plus advanced rental on contact hire. Customers will also receive an exclusive two-hour off-road driving experience, taking place in three regional UK locations in December. above your limits. Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Texas Philippines gathered its friends, media guests, and top executives for a night of celebration held at its very own home in Bonifacio Global City. In 2009, Lexus entered the local car industry with the launch of its initial lineup, the LS460 flagship sedan, the ES350 executive sedan, the GS460 sport sedan, the IS300 compact sedan, and the LX570 full-size SUV. The 
Philippines starting 10 years ago, it was a big question back then if the Philippines was already ready for the Lexus. And as may have been shared earlier, the speech of Richard Soko, the big answer was yes, but it's in the how to do it. And uh, the big decision was we have to do it, but we have to do it properly. And after the long planning for Lexus in the Philippines, then we started this new home of Lexus in the, uh, in the Philippines, which is Lexus Manila. And more or less you'd see and feel what Lexus is all about when you look at this uh, showroom. In the span of a decade, filled with nothing but service to its Filipino customers, Lexus has secured a spot in the local auto industry as the top luxury brand. Uh, we brought in the Lexus brand in 2009. Uh, it went through a lot of study, a lot of planning. We studied the luxury market, um, our competitors, where the site of our dealership would be. And when the market was right, we introduced a Lexus brand in 2009 and opening up Lexus Manila as our one and only dealership in the Philippines. Lexus also finds it worth celebrating that for four consecutive years now, it has been able to maintain its place on the top in the commercial vehicle segment. This has positioned Lexus Philippines at the fourth rank regionally in terms of new car sales. In terms of market share, Lexus Philippines is top two among its Lexus regional affiliates. When we introduced this brand in 2009, our presence compared to the, uh, our competitors was really small. But uh, since then, the, uh, our product lineup uh, enhanced. They also our quality service also enhanced and also the uh, advertising etc all of uh, getting effort can uh, contribute to give us some uh, better image of our luxury brand of Lexus then we now having uh, uh, more than 30 percent of market share in the luxury brand uh, it's really successful uh, story uh, of Lexus in the Philippines Lexus has grown much in the Philippines and we're proud to say that last year, based on unofficial data, that Lexus was the number two luxury band in the car market. So this gives us much pride, no? That's only in 10 years of existence in the Philippines and only one dealership were able to achieve such a feat. So also we thank all customers of Lexus for uh, choosing Lexus as their brand. In line with its 10th anniversary, Lexus has officially brought in the Lexus UX to the Philippine market, the brand's first ever introduction in the subcompact SUV segment. We just uh, introduced a new SUV model, UX. So this model is really just fit to the uh, customers who can enjoy the uh, sporty riding and also the uh, sporty looking. So I'm sure the, all of uh, our customers can enjoy and be satisfied to have uh, this model. So please come to our showroom and uh, experience this great model. The Lexus UX is a subcompact SUV crafted and inspired by the traditional Japanese concept of engawa that blurs the boundary between a home's exterior and interior designed to create a feeling of seamless continuity inside. This makes the UX a perfect car for those who are on the go and ready to explore. We wanted a model that would bridge the gap between luxury customers and the regular contemporary customers. So let's say we wanted a vehicle where it would be easy to transition, let's say from a Toyota or even a Subaru SUV to a luxury SUV. So it has the usual luxury accoutrements. We have very comfortable seats in even the base model with fabric and synthetic leather on the base model. We also have a large infotainment screen of 7.2 inches and 10.3 inches on the F-Sport. We also have sport suspension on the F-Sport and we also have new engines for this. We also have the two liter inline four, which is powerful enough for this kind of car. And we feel like within urban usage, it is quite adequate. Lexus looks forward to more years of continued service for its Filipino customers to truly experience amazing aboard their cars. The outlook is also always very positive for 2019. I hope we remain as the top three luxury brands in the Philippines as well. Um, I hope sales are good for this year also. With the introduction of the UX, I hope we can bring in more people to our brand so that we can create more amazing experiences with our customers.
And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Bentley Continental GT. Let's watch this. Bentley is introducing the all-new Continental GT Convertible. Designed, engineered, and handcrafted in Britain, and representing all Bentley knows about creating the world's most stylish and elegant Grand Tourers. The GT Convertible is the very essence of the luxury brand. Adrian Hallmark, chairman and chief executive of Bentley Motors said, elegant understatement that forces you to look. Engineering excellence you'll take for granted. The extraordinary breadth of capabilities offered by the new Continental GT Convertible is unique and can only be offered by our noble British brand. Elegant and sculptural exterior styling harmonizes perfectly with an exquisite handcrafted cabin. Featuring the highest quality leathers and sustainably sourced veneers, the tailored convertible roof can be deployed or stowed in just 19 seconds, with the car traveling at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. This transforms a Continental GT convertible from a luxury coupe into an open-top Grand Tour at the touch of a button. Seven different fabric hood colors are available, including the authentic tweed finish for the first time. The all-new Continental GT Convertible heightens the sensory experience of open-air motoring with exhilarating performance. A powerful 6.0-liter Bentley W12 engine is mated to a dual-clutch 8-speed transmission. The new powertrain uses the latest engine management technology to produce 635 PS and 900 Newton meters of torque and accelerate to 100 km per hour in 3.8 seconds onto a top speed of 333 kilometers per hour. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits.
Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. Almost every car company and manufacturers bring out something new every now and then. For Nissan Philippines, the first car that they put on the spotlight this 2018 is the Nissan X-Trail. In this week's second car review, we're finding out the reason why it was the brand's New Year's surprise for its customers and supporters. Watch this. Checking out a car to see for yourself whether it beats your standards and expectations, you should start from the smallest to the biggest details. Our first stop here for this week's car review, the Nissan X-Trails 4x4 engine. The X-Trails 4x4 is powered by a 2.5-liter engine which produces 169 horsepower and 233 Nm of torque. Although the X-Trail has a massive body size of 4,690 by 1,830 by 1,740 millimeters, which all came with a 4x4 mechanism, there will be no problem pulling the crossover. It's also a good thing that all of these are mated to a continuously variable transmission. For the X-Trail 4x4, its suspension setup uses an independent strut type with stabilizer at the front and an independent multi-link type with stabilizer at the rear. This setup is the perfect support for the X-Trail in taking on rough roads. There's no worry as well about slowing down or going full stop, as the X-Trail's brakes are comprised of a vented disc for the front brakes and a disc for the rear. Now on to the more visible parts, the exteriors and the interiors. The exterior looks of the X-Trail 4x4 doesn't look far from the designs of its predecessors, but it truly is something that makes the car remarkable. It comes from a wide V-Motion grille, reshaped fog and LED headlamps, and restyled daytime running lights. The fascia is highlighted by a set of 19-inch dual-tone alloy wheels. There's not much new to the exteriors of the X-Trail's 4x4, aside from these features. But one can still easily tell that Nissan leveled up its game for one of their latest models. Moreover, the X-Trail's bold look outside continues onto its interiors. It has that subtly designed vibe that is visible with the revamped door finishers and instrument panel accents, shift knob design, central console, and D-shaped steering wheel. The combination of leather and fabric incorporated on the seats also contribute to the overall interior feels of the car. The X-Trail 4x4 can sit up to seven people. The driver and passengers alike can comfortably sit on leather finished materials with folding rear seats with a configuration of 420-40 on the second row and 50-50 on the third row. For the infotainment system, which is the star of every car's interior, the X-Trail has a display head unit that is easy to connect with smartphones via Bluetooth or USB. It comes with six speakers that produce an enjoyable sound. Checking out the safety and security, the X-Trail is equipped with Nissan standard features. Though aside from the regular, the X-Trail 4x4 takes pride in it coming with Nissan's new set of smart technology called the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. The X-Trail is equipped with cameras all over the car. It also displays an around view monitor that makes parking easier with its 360 overhead view. It's now safe to say that all these features combined with a Nissan Intelligent Mobility is what makes the X-Trail 4x4 stand out. That was the Nissan X-Trail 4x4, our second featured vehicle on Car Review this week. And that's Autofocus. We hope you found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.